Meta has just released Code Llama 70B. This is an open source model that is incredible at code development. And this is coming on the backs of Llama 2, which is kind of this behemoth, um, you know, chat GPT competitor, really, really impressive. Meta has created one of the best AI models after OpenAI, you know, along with Mistral, Gemini, and Anthropic, they're pretty much right in there in that same group. And this is a huge new announcement that they've made today to essentially make code generation better. So what's going on here is that Meta has released this new Code Llama 70B. Um, this is pretty much an improved version of their current code generation model. And this can write code in a bunch of different programming languages. They have Python, C++, Java, PHP. The model's based on natural language prompts or existing code snippets pretty much. And it's one of the largest open source AI models for code generation that exists, period. So code generation, of course, is trying to, you know, like the goal is to automate software creation, like editing, modifying, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this new Code Llama 70B is a LLM trained on, get this, 500 billion tokens of code and also code related data. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually like impressed they're able to gather that much data. This is something that is a challenge when we're creating some of these like really, really big AI models is like just the sheer volume of the data set. Of course, Meta has a lot of resources they are gonna be able to grab this. Something interesting about Meta as well is the fact that they pretty much run, own, whatever you wanna call it, the code project, which is React. Uh, you know, this is built by Meta and they have a ton. I wonder like what kind of access they have because they run uh, React that they're, they're gonna essentially have a ton of code that they can put in this. I wonder, you know, how good this is at writing React code. I'd be curious and I would guess that it's actually really, really good uh, because that's probably a, a big chunk of the data set. In any case, it has a context window of 100,000 tokens for processing and generating, you know, more like long and complex code. Um, and it has evolved, of course, from Llama 2, which is more of their general purpose LLM, which has 175 billion parameters. Um, which is it's pretty much like a chat GPT competitor. Um, so Llama 2 is capable of generating text in a bunch of different um, styles, just like chat GPT, it's able to talk and do everything you'd expect, you know, a chat GPT competitor to do. But code Llama 70B is using self attention for fine tuning in code generation. This is really interesting to me. So um, it includes code Llama 70B instruct, which has a score of seven or 67.8 on human eval, which is really, really impressive. A human eval essentially is just like assessing functional correctness and also the logic and code that's generated by these AI models. Um, so it's kind of one of these pretty solid benchmarks. Um, so code llama 70B instruct, it, it pretty much excels in tasks like sorting, searching, and also implementing algorithms. This thing is really powerful. So another variant, which is code llama 70B Python, right? Um, specifically, of course, focused on generating Python code is optimized um, and it has an additional 100 billion tokens of Python code um, training. So this is very interesting and this is a prediction I made early on after uh, Stanford created PubMed GPT um, earlier last year. They created this um, AI model based off of all the publicly available medical journals and uh, it was good at answering medical questions. I said, this is great, but if you wanted this to be even better, you'd create more specific AI models, so like a heart disease, a breast cancer, et cetera. And it looks like that's exactly what Meta is doing here. They have, you know, Code Llama 70B Python. They have Code Llama 70B Instruct. They're creating different models for specific, um, for specific programming languages. So I think this is so, so fascinating. Um, and I wonder, you know, at some point once they start tying these all together so you could use one that can do all of them. But like overall, I think this is, they're, they're going right down the right path here. So Code Llama 70B is currently free to download and use for both research and commercial purposes. Um, it's accessible through Hugging Face, PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, Jupyter Notebook, right? All of the places you'd expect to be able to get this. And Mark Zuckerberg uh, personally commented on this. He said, quote, we're open sourcing a new and improved Code Llama, including a larger 70 billion or 70B um, parameter model, writing and editing code has emerged as one of the most important uses of AI models today. The ability to code has also proven to be important for AI models to process information in other domains more rigorously and logically. I'm proud of the progress here and looking forward to including these advances in Llama 3 and future models as well. This is interesting. Like, so they've literally built this like little 
they're not little, but they built this um, this AI model that can generate code, and they're saying they're going to embed this into Llama three, right? We're on Llama two right now, so we're going to have this in Llama three. So it's like they're they're creating these like specialized AI models and embedding them into these um, into these bigger models, to the point where we're like we're creating like a specialized Python model that's getting embedded into a code model, which the code model is going to has a bunch of code, but it's also going to be embedded into the Llama three. So it's like we're stacking these these AI models that are special specialists at different things. Really, really fascinating and really, really exciting. So code Llama 70B is expected to, I think, significantly impact code generation and software development if you know as this thing gets rolled out. And it has a bunch of different tools for creating and improving code. Um, and I really think at the end of the day, there's just lowering the barrier to entry and coding. Um, the model also can enable a bunch of new applications like code uh, like code translation, summarization, documentation, um, analysis, debugging, like it can do so many different things, which I think are, you know, beyond just writing the code, which are uh, really, really exciting. So I will keep you up to date as new news drops about this, as we start seeing this rolled out, as we start seeing this added into, you know, Llama 3, et cetera, et cetera. Really, really exciting. I think uh, Meta is right on the right path with making this model really, really impressive and efficient at writing code.